Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Aries the Emperor here. Thank you guys so very much for joining me on this very beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are watching. This is an all Aries channel for all Aries placements. Cross watchers are welcome as well. Please take in mind, this reading may or may not resonate with everyone. So just take what does, leave what does not. Place the gender roles where they need to be for you. This is energy and energy is all fluid. Thank you guys, everyone who's liked and subscribed to the channel thus far. Thank you guys for all of your comments and beautiful donations. If you would like to connect with me and book a personal, I will leave all of my info in the description box. If you've already booked a personal, um, make sure you check in your email. I will be reaching out periodically today and sending readings out. Um, so make sure you're checking so we can correspond. The website is on sale, guys, 10% off, okay, on candles and on readings. So take advantage, take advantage, okay? Let's jump right on into it. I'm going to light this candle. This is just a personal one that I made. Look at the tree in it. Okay, so I wanted to light this for you guys. as we are now in moon in Libra. All right, so these energies are about balance, okay? More so balance than rocking the boat. Empress energy here, which is Libra, and five of wands, which is Leo energy. Some would say, well, in Vedic astrology that we were just in moon and Leo. Um, tropical astrology would state that we were just in moon and Virgo. So um, depending on how you look at it here, uh, these are the energies that you will be dealing with at this time. You know, it's one thing to keep things neutral in life. You know, like I mentioned, and not rock the boat, but we also must remember as individuals um, to not be afraid to be who we really are, despite what others expect from you or think of you. And continuing on, because tomorrow we will be switching to, look at this, Sagittarius energy. We will be switching to Scorpio moon. And it's going to force you to, to go within. And a lot of times with Scorpio, you know, it's, it's an energy where your relationships have to be of some substance. If not, you're going to see right through it, especially as an Aries. So... These just may be a few energies you may be experiencing or moods that you, that may be happening to you here. Mood shifts, mood swings, or those around you experiencing this, okay? Let's jump into it. The world card this is Saturn energy. And Saturn energy rules over Aquarius and Capricorn, King of Wands. There's that Leo energy with Libra is what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck here. This is you moving forward into... I don't know why I want to say your lane, your side of the street, you know, taking your stake and, and staying there. You know, it's like in the movies when they conquer a land and they take their flag and they stick it in the, the ground here. Death card, Scorpio energy, like speaking of the flag. Thank you, spirit. It's like, boom, when death is coming, there's nothing you can do about it. And I feel like this time you are stepping up to the plate or stepping up to the uh, occasion 
in something and not caring how it looks to others or how it feels to those around you um, or anywhere that you go in this world here. It's like you are moving with a different type of presence about you. Um, to others, it may feel like a different type of energy around you. Um, and I just, like I mentioned with the Scorpio energy, we will be experiencing a uh, moon in Scorpio on tomorrow. Um, this is the energy that you may be moving into here coming up as you see what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck here, a change. And I, throughout life, you know, life is a cycle of changes. Okay. And that's what the world card depicts as well. And this may just be one that you have completed um, and just found a way to reintroduce yourself to certain aspects in your life. You know, the way you deal with people, the way you deal with your relationships, um, the way you want to be treated, the things that you, you know, accept and won't accept. And it, whether it's a deal breaker or not here, like this time around, there is, you're unapologetic. Okay. You got a job to do. You have a purpose within you. You have a flame that's burning in you bright, you know, and I feel like you're very generous. You have a, a really big heart um, and you have a lot to give, whether um, this is just you wanting to put yourself out there for the world to see on a platform of some sort, or in general, this is also 10th house energy. So, and associates um, dealing with Aquarius. So there just could be some type of in reintroduction to yourself here, putting yourself out there. Whether this be, um, like I mentioned, having to do with your career, the hair font energy, or you just sharing your testimony, you know, and people seeing you as a walking, breathing testimony, the hair font, like there's a glow up about you and ascension here, a spiritual awaken or, or some type of wisdom that you have gained or knowledge um, with this Taurus energy here that has put you in a place of rest, a, a place of peace, or this is the energy that you will be moving into, you know, because of that Scorpio energy and going within, going deep and really fighting habits, um, your shadow side, just things that you struggle with, wanting to be better in life or not feeling like you're keeping up or just whatever it is. Those things are to the wayside for you here because you are keeping up with yourself. You passing the baton from your old self to your new self and you letting your new self lead the race here and it's leading you closer to God, closer to spirit, closer to success, closer to love, closer to independence, closer to generational wealth, closer to breaking generational ties and soul ties and curses and, and bad karma on your name and on your family's name just you fighting all of that shit off like devil get up off me satan get up off of me however you look at it or put it darkness get up off of me you know you you moving into light you are becoming that and like i said the hair font that's somebody who is sticking to their guns i.e they morals they traditions what their their faith is literally your faith has gotten you through here whether this has been through spirituality or whatever practice you follow here it has moved mountains for you okay is what i feel for somebody right here the moon card it's pisces energy you could have pisces aspected in your chart but yeah this is somebody going from karmic cycles you know restless nights nights alone you know not knowing or feeling like maybe nobody cares but that's not the case here okay it's definitely not i feel like your intuition could be really heightened at this time and you could be an empath of some sort you know you absorb other people's energies and feelings. Maybe you've experienced a lot of letdowns and setbacks in the past, but like I mentioned, you know, you're moving forward. And when you focus on the future, you know, 
not delve in the past. This world is bright. This world is big. This world is vast. Okay, step out into it. Step out on it. This is faith. If you call yourself an Aries, you know, Aries is one that moves on blind faith, you know, with optimism. But don't we all? I mean, because we really don't control anything in this life. If you really want to break it down, you know, so... The divine, the most high, is in control of it all. So why not get closer to it? And watch it work in your favor. Look at this. Six of swords. All right, this is way too many. Six of Swords and the Five of Pentacles here. Thank you, Spirit. Like I mentioned, you're headed forward, okay? If you're worried that you have um, been experiencing some type of new success here or that things are going better for you and you're not used to that type of energy, um, then I feel you should really change your mindset. I mean, things are going forward for you in a positive way. Just reach within yourself here. Remember who you are. Remember where you come from. And, and don't get lost in that, you know. As long as you know where you come from, you will never, I'm sorry, as long as you know where you're going, you will never forget where you come from. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't even know if I said that right. Bottom line, all I'm saying is the road to the top or to success or through spirituality, your path that you're following on, you know, just always be humble and mindful and respectful. You know, you're going to have to pass a lot of people, as they say, going to the top if that's somewhere that you're focusing on. And they also say to stay humble in that because those are the same people that you will have to pass on the way back, on your way down. So if you are in an energy of feeling like this is something temporary, you know, good things don't come to you, then that's why I'm saying, you know, don't be in that energy. Just be in the energy of gratitude and giving back and staying true to yourself and spirit will continue to guide you and lead you down the path of light the lovers the gemini energy is what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck no focus on the good and let the good come in and outweigh the bad here until you get to a point where you are in this hierophant energy and vibing so high that um there is no such thing as a bad day and you know with the good comes the bad. So just come up with the solution, man, and keep it moving. All right, I'm going to go ahead and close the reading out. Yeah, Five of Wands, Knight of Swords. Do you and stay armed and ready like you always are. You, you are the Aries. You know, Death Card, Scorpio Energy is back here. Put your flag Take your flag, right, in the ground and take your place. Like I mentioned in the beginning, I feel like somebody is stepping up to the plate. Somebody is ready. Somebody is armed. Somebody is dangerous. You know, that's you collective here. You worked hard for this. Um, and open up, you know, receive those blessings. You deserve to receive as the giver in the zodiac okay i'm gonna hit that oh, i'm sorry i'm gonna leave your reading here hit that like and subscribe button guys for more messages from me and i'll catch you later ciao